Witnesses say it was bedlam. And even though Lambert Field was under a tornado watch, no one expected a powerful twister to barrel down a runway and slam into the historic airport. Enormous windows shattered, sending glass flying into Lambert's main terminal. This surveillance video shows the time of impact with travelers and airport employees diving for cover to avoid flying debris. I mean, we got to the terminal, lights were out, there was glass everywhere, it was just open, there was blood everywhere from where people had been cut. This is the jet that was pushed sideways from gate 12. Three planes filled with passengers rode out the scary storm on the tarmac. East of the airport, dozens of homes bore the brunt of a twister packing winds of up to 166 miles an hour. We just thank the Lord that uh, uh, we were okay and all our neighbors are, are okay. In Maryland Heights, residents scavenged through what was left of their homes searching for anything that wasn't blown away. It was a mess, scary. I don't want to live through it again. And as you can see, we're picking up the pieces. The small city of Berkeley, just a few miles east of the airport, was also hard hit. I was sitting right there on this couch. Emory Washington and his family made it to the basement just seconds before the tornado completely destroyed their home. Folks here say they are just grateful there were no injuries. Yeah, my whole life flashed right in front of me, and I just hope I never experience that again. Hope no one has to experience that anymore. It's an amazing sight. The state has declared this a disaster area, and the 30,000 without power could be in the dark for days. It was horrific, and for that much damage to be done, and no one lost their life, it is simply a blessing. The airport expects to be up and running at at least 70% capacity as early as tomorrow. Recoveries in communities like this will take a lot longer. And forecasters caution an extremely dangerous weather pattern is forming that could drop tornadoes just as strong as this one, anywhere from Illinois all the way down to Texas Monday and Tuesday. And once again, St. Louis is in the path of the storm. Russ? Cynthia Bowers in the St. Louis suburb of Brooklyn, Missouri. Thank you very much.